Hi, I'm here again to help you take the easy way out of the kitchen. And I know it's been really hard on everybody. I'm really sorry for having to all suffer through this. And I'm hoping you're getting through okay by eating well, eating healthy, and making good food choices. Now I've got an interesting tip for you. We're making chicken tonight, Asian chicken. And Tony's gonna do the slicing because let me tell you, I like my fingers. You know, I've been using many years of Ginsu. How can I remember this? My gosh, I love it. Anyway, I know sharper knives are supposed to be safer and anyway, but I'm not good at that. So Tony's gonna do it. Or the meat cutter, if he was available, would do it too, but uh, they're not. So Tony's a great slicer. And panko. Actually, this is his favorite, almost his recipe. I tweaked it a little bit, but not much. So panko is the Japanese breadcrumb, and it is lower in fat, lower in calories, lower in sodium, and higher in fiber than breadcrumbs. It's actually a healthier choice. So I was kind of, I thought, wow, what about my Italian breadcrumbs, my heritage? But I don't use them all. I use them, but you know, I use them sparingly because I know. I do like the taste, but this is really popping in your mouth, delicious. I love them, actually. Okay, so before we get started, Tony's gonna come out and, and cut the chicken. This is Tony. Hi. This is a Tony. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. My partner in crime here. Okay, yeah. so you need a sharp knife. I washed my hands. I have my gloves on. So I just cut at an angle and make the pieces relatively thin, and just keep cutting. Wow, you could have been a surgeon. Jeez, precision cutting. Hmm. You gonna get five pieces out of that, Tony? Well, we'll see. See what we Pretty get. Pretty small here. pieces. Okay, that's, you're gonna just yeah. leave that one alone, yeah. right? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Go. So my hands are clean, and I'll step in and make them. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. You're Yay, welcome. Tony. Yay, Tony. Okay. So now we have the chicken, and it's sliced. And we start off with one egg. If you're just gonna have a small batch like this, you're gonna have one egg and you're gonna whip it. Mix it up, scramble it, you know. And I have a little salt and pepper to it, okay? Then I have my breadcrumbs right in here. And then they're gonna go into this dish, and that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with, you need only to use one hand, one hand, because that's gonna be important, so you don't get egg in the other hand. Egg in your face, egg in your hand, okay. And then you just, you know, coat it in the breadcrumbs using the same fork, using the same fork. Make sure you coat it well, put it in the plate. Now with panko, it doesn't stick. It doesn't stick at all. So that part's good. And if we lay one on top of the other, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a few of these. I'm not gonna do them all because it takes too much time. But. You know, I don't want to keep you too long. Okay, so then you would just, you know, arrange them in the plate and then you have it. Now, what you're going to do after this is, is important. You're going to go to, the, use a fry pan, put a little butter in it, and then get the butter a little warm, and maybe a little olive oil, just a tad of both. And then you're going to put the meat, chicken breast, lay it in a, the hot pan, and sear it on either side. Now, it doesn't take long to cook. Maybe three minutes. We're talking about a shortcut cooked meal. You're gonna put it down, browns, turn it around, two, maybe two more minutes and make sure it's done, of course, you'll, you, you'll know. So that's how easy and simple it is. And what else I'd have to tell you about? I haven't, I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, so here's what the dish looks like, okay? And this is it. And this is after it's cooked and then you'll see inside my hands are clean. So the nice chicken gives it a nice Nice uh, perspective of the chicken. Here it is, I can't show you again. Not that you've never seen a piece of chicken, but chicken prepared like this, maybe you haven't. Okay, so that's my meal for you today. And I just wanna wish you well wishes, safety, keep strong, keep the courage. And by the way, this is a day before Easter. And I just wanna um, just give you my Easter blessings for, uh, for all we're going through to everybody. Okay, take care, love you, and I'll see you soon with another recipe just for you.